is your October 2015, and this will count not only for Sun sign Libra, but anyone with a Libra ascendant. You will both get an accurate reading from this forecast. Now, October may be the best month of 2015 for everyone. I'm more or less starting the month, though, with the new moon on October 12th. Um, you'll see why the first half is a little tricky. But for the entire month, you will get opportunities to maximize luck and continue with upgrades, especially the luck is in the latter half of the month. Now, um, this is the schedule, and I won't go through this. I'm going to go through piece by piece. But essentially, the first part of the month is a little tricky and the second half is much easier. We start the first half tricky element number one with Mercury retrograde. Now Mercury's been retrograde in your first house, so you've been the person who has to go and straighten things out and, uh, and tell people, here, you gotta research this more, you gotta troubleshoot this. So you've been kind of the leader here or the instigator for some of this Mercury retrograde action. And um, October 3rd through 9th, Mars is opposite Neptune. And in this case, Mars is moving through your 12th house. So you have a very active spirituality. You may have vivid dreams and you are coping with a nemesis. You'll get extra help coping with this nemesis. And that's how we really grow, of course, is dealing with situations or people that we find disagreeable. And you'll have opportunity to do that. And Neptune moving through your sixth house is uh, you have a really glamorous job, but there's sensitivity involved and there may be illusions and trickery, you know, kind of like office politics. So you're going to have this perception about what's going on in terms of who's your real ally and who's your frenemy. I love that word frenemy, right? And so you are known as the zodiacal diplomat, so you're the one who can best work this out more than anyone. Now, um, if you have already had your birthday by October 4th, the sun is in your first house. If your birthday is afterwards, then you're still finishing up things from the year. So you need extra rest before your birthday. And after your birthday, it's really kind of like, a, you know, it's like you're reborn. So depending on where you are, um, and there's a lot of um, power and, and wealth issues or transformations or OCD involved with your, your family, maybe not your immediate family, maybe your brothers and sisters or your cousins. So you really have to be very expert politician to deal with some of your family situations. And also you really want to be sure that as you transform your home, you know, you rehabbing your home, or as you are rebuilding your basis for happiness, that um, you don't get too much of your, um, your, your egocentric you know, thing messing up in there with that. Uh, that's not a complete sentence, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, this gets a lot better October 6th through 16th when Jupiter trines Pluto. In this case, your perception and your spirituality is really one of your high points in 2015. And you are, you know, having more intuition, vivid dreams. You're coping with difficult situations in a much easier way. And this helps you smooth things over with your family because you're kind of like the sage. I mean, you're sort of like this wise person, this intuitive person, this all-knowing person. And so you can be very helpful to smooth things out regarding your family. Now, by October 9th, Mercury is back into prograde motion. So some of your duties to get things organized or get people together now is kind of lessening. So you no longer have to be supervising all these sorts of um, retread uh, and communications and um, the new moon coming in here the actual new moon is the 12th but we're giving a time window 10 through the 14th so this is the time for you now to um, make more appearances to be uh, to get a make maybe even a, a, a you know kind of a whole new look and um, it's particularly if you've already had your birthday here again if it's a new moon before your birthday you're still kind of regrouping and you're in that kind of cocoon stage um, but um, this is a really interesting new moon because of the uh, emphasis on uh, science, agriculture, and philosophy, and also culture, music, and art. So it's a kind of vivid, a lot of rich material here. And um, the, the choices of hope versus cynicism are something that you're very aware of. And uh, you know, if, if you really do be attuned to these great options, you could become a leader either in your family or your community or your group of friends. And so um, it can be a really useful, again, very different if you've had your birthday already. If you haven't, then maybe you're kind of waiting on the sidelines a little bit more. But if, you, if, if by, I'd say, October 14th, you've had your birthday, you really want to push forward with this. 
Now, Uranos is in your seventh house, so you know a lot of very unusual people. Your close partners may be really eccentric. They could be just racing towards the future at an alarming rate. I mean, you know, that could be really interesting. These are charismatic people, but, um, but also, some of your uh, public outreach really has to involve a lot of new media or a lot of futuristic ideas. So it's not just personality anymore, it's you've got to have a big splash. October 14th through 20th, Mars is conjunct Jupiter again in your 12th house. This uh, is a progressive phase for your spirituality, but you know, how do you really, you know, figure out how you're doing spiritually? It's such a huge subject. And, and also the whole world of dreams can be really illuminating, but it can be confusing. So maybe you want to find a dream expert, and there's plenty of ideas, interesting experts that you can see on YouTube, um, you know, where they'll go through dream analysis. Most important thing, though, is keep a dream diary for the rest of 2015 and into 2016. Um, you know, here again, it's the, the, the spiritual life is a rarefied life, and you're probably experiencing some of this. In, um, here in October. It can be really uplifting. This can be just, you know, the, almost like you're bathed in some kind of light, but it is ethereal. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost from another world. <laughs> so, you know, um, now putting you back in the real world is the full moon. The full moon will be in your eighth house of collaborations, business, and troubleshooting. So you're devising strategies and contracts, and you're learning a lot about this. So you know, in terms of if you understand how to you know, negotiate, you know, there are a couple really good books yeah, um, if, if, you, if you know about the 80s, you remember 1980s, there was a book called You Can Negotiate Anything, which was the classic of negotiation. And I really recommend that by Herb Cohen. There's another great book about power. It's called The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. And that's another great book. So you, these might really help you just even reading the um, indexes you can do in The 48 Laws of Power because there's going to be a lot of... Um, you know, you're really going to have to watch your negotiation skills here on this full moon, 25th through 29th, because this could be a make it or break it. And there is outside the box thinking indicated because the full moon is near the Andromeda galaxy. It's also, there's a great sense of justice orienting because it's near the triangle. And it's a w really important that your pattern recognition is really keen. Uh, you know, where are the trends going? Because this, this full moon is near the heart of Ketus the whale. And lastly, feeling pride in nation roots and cultural heritage, there can be some collaborations there. There are a lot of people who prefer to do business with people with their same ethnic background or their same, um, you know, moral ethical code, you know, whatever, um, or the same kind of went to the same kind of school. So you want to cash in on that. Um, so overall, though, this, the last part of October is very good, huge conglomerates, a lot of success. And this is a stark contrast to November, where it's going to be kind of stoic, and some, there's some sacrifices coming up in November. But for the, but, but so really push towards maxing all those benefits in October, and I hope it works out well for you. My name is Victoria Martin. Thank you very much for watching. Good. That was a good one.